and to be attractive. I've said this before. Louis Farrakhan, I don't agree with Louis on 99% of what he has to say. But he said something one day that I agree with wholeheartedly. He, he pointed at the camera and said, you Christian preachers, your own men are no longer listening to you. And the point he was making was, you guys are too wish-washy. You're too weak. You're too punkish. You're too mushy. You have no backbone. You have no spine. So all you want to do is talk about things that make men shout. I want to talk about some things that make men think. You can be a Christian now and go to the club. You go see the Christian singers and, and performers. They're like worldly people. If I had Michael Jackson and Prince in my pocket, I'd give them to Kurt Franklin. So just, just here, here, dog. Here, you just, if I, just, just give it to him. Because that, that's, since when do you sing God's gospel? Say it, Grooving like you're in the club. Amen. And those who have studied this, child psychiatrists and psychologists and others who study the mind and parents know the happiest children are children who live in homes where there are guidelines, where there are rules, because then they know when they are pleasing their parents and when they are not. Guidelines. One man said that he was a, a Christian and then uh, he left Christianity and became an atheist and he left atheism and became a Muslim and he said the reason he settled on Islam Versus Christianity, he said that, and you know, I'm a Christian. He said that Christianity no longer seems to be a religion with parameters. He said you can say anything now, do anything now, behave any kind of way, and still be a Christian. He said, but in Islam, that is not so. In Islam, there are rules. There are things that you have to do to be a good Muslim. I read what one Muslim said that the Muslim man would never take his woman to an abortion clinic to abort that baby for there is a future Muslim in her womb. The Christian man will drive her down there Vote for whoever's pushing it and have no quorums about it. We, are, we seem to have no rules. Oh, it's going to be tough today. But you, you have to admit, the young folk did sing hard to you, didn't they? I can see a few of you now. I can tell you, you've already grabbed your purse. Your wallet. So oh, if he's going to talk about that, I'm going to leave. Well, you might as well go and leave now. Let me give you, <laughs> I'm a pause. Cause, because I'm going, amen. We, we, we've quickly become a religion that means nothing. That, you know, we used to preach, come out from among them. Now, the way we've changed what we believe now, there's not much left to come out from among. You can be a Christian now and go to the club. You go see the Christian singers and performers. They're like worldly people. If I had Michael Jackson and Prince in my pocket, I'd give them to Kurt Franklin. So just, just here, here, dog. Yeah, you just invite just, just give it to him. Because that, that's, since when do you sing God's gospel? Say it, Rita. Grooving like you're in the club. Amen. Now, now, cameraman, I want you to keep the camera on me because I see when I said that, 
I froze some, and they you all, some of you all are good at you 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 know how to get that straight face. So in case they see you, they they know that you didn't give your approval nor disapproval. Say, I know I can't go to war with you. So, so camera, stay on me when I talk about these things, because it's me, I mean it. I tell people, you know, they've got a lot of stuff in, online, uh, and I tell them all. I said, I don't mind being quoted. If I said it, I said it. I stand behind what I say. I just don't want to be misquoted. When I did the interview the other day with the New York Times, two weeks ago, the Times reporter asked me, she said, are they taping us? I said, yes, ma'am. They're taping you, tape me, as you tape me. Now, if you do me right, you won't have to worry about it. If you misquote me or take my words and change them, we're going to release the whole thing online where people can hear the whole, the whole interview. Because you're not going to get me. Ask me one question. I answer that. Then you take that answer and put it towards something else. Most of the local uh, radio, uh, television, news stations right here stopped interviewing me. Somebody told me one time, said, we used to see you in the news all the time. What happened? I said, I started taping them. <laughs> I taped them when they taped me. Uh, 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 man standing there with a camera. Is he taping us? He's got a camera. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to do that now. Because uh, we don't have a real media. They're more propagandists now. And they want a story told that they won't tell. Amen. So, yeah, we're trying to be like the world. And um, God wants us to be holy. And to be attractive. I've said this before. Louis Farrakhan, I don't agree with Louis on 99% of what he has to say. But he said something one day that I agree with wholeheartedly. He, he pointed at the camera and said, you Christian preachers, your own men are no longer listening to you. And the point he was making was, you guys are too wish-washy. Right. You're too weak. Right. You're too punkish. Yeah, You're too right. mushy. You have no backbone. You have no spine. So all you want to do is talk about things that make men shout. I want to talk about some things that make men think. You can shout on your own time. I want to make you think. Men and women, men, male and female.